Okay, everybody, it's spring break, and I'm in the Catskills in the middle of the woods on a winding dirt road with the kayak on top of the car for an adventure. I'm gonna spend approximately, whoa, approximately 24 hours here. We're gonna be targeting brook trout. Not a common fish for me to target and not a common one to find around my neck of the woods, but they are here. So uh, I'll give you a look, I'll give you the lay of the land. I'm meeting up with my friend Ra here. That might be him taking a No, I don't think it is actually. All right, so the lake is behind me. Just brought some stuff down to the water. About to go back up and get my kayak. It's very heavy, especially loaded with camping stuff. It's gonna be a, an exhausting little jaunt down the hill, but check this out. It's like, uh, I'd imagine one of those like old Catskill like mountain retreats. See my car is all the way up here, but uh, should be fun. I'd imagine first order of business once we're on the water is to find our campsite, pitch our tents and everything, and then it's time to fish. Probably gonna need one more stop. Here's good. I mean, is it, is it really supposed to rain that much? Thirteen feet. Oh, and there's fish. Yep. Uh, one of them looks pretty big. Ooh, this is school. Yeah, they're not big. Maybe it's like crappy or something. Ah! Bumper boats. Yeah, the fish I'm seeing are suspending like, uh, right, like halfway. We're in 16 feet. I'm setting a waypoint, man. Special regs that said artificial lures only. They have to be 12 inches, but what's funny though, I had a copy of the, the 2021 New York special regulations and it was 10 inches. So they changed it. I don't know, you think that's a campsite? It's definitely a trail. All right, this is the campsite. We're a little away from the lake. We had the option to be right on the lake, but uh, it's pretty windy and it's supposed to rain a little bit. So we want to be, this is more protected. This is cool. Look at that. They even have like a griddle to use. Neato. And we have a stream. I wonder if this stream might hold any little baby micro fish. I do have my Tanago hooks if need be. Oh, there, there, there are little fish. Oh, that might be a new species right there, baby. Yeah. You don't have one, do you? You could like uh, tie up to me. 
Anything? Yeah, no? Me neither. Oh, geese. Is that a fish? Nope. A tree pounder, as they say. Okay, guys. Finally getting hit using this tree here as a marker. Got hit twice. Just didn't stick. I don't know if Rock caught something, but he called my name, so we'll see. I'm gonna remember that tree area because I definitely got hit there twice. Got one? Yeah. You keeping him uh, wet on the Thomas EP? Looks a little small. Uh, it's in the back. Uh, could you just grab it and I'll find it for you? It's the tape measure. I got two, hit two casts in a row, so I stayed there for a while and then he never came back. Very soft and slippery, huh? Yeah. So that's your first trout ever. Yeah, bro. Nice, man. Show it to the camera one more time. All right. Nice little brook trout. So he's the shorty. We'll get another. Okay, so a bit of a rain delay here. We're just chilling. We're not around the fire, we're in the fire. Because some numb nuts made a fire pit that was way too big. And if we were outside of it, we would be getting wet. Even though we have a tarp over it. But uh Good time, so raw caught up. Well guys, you see what's happening here. The rain has turned to snow. So uh, it's been pretty torrential rain for um, quite a while now, but uh, then it sounded a little different and my tent suddenly got brighter as I was just trying to chill out here and wait out the storm. Now it's snowing on <laughs> April 16th. So uh, I don't know, maybe we'll get a, a snowy fishing session in. More on that soon. Oh, nothing, never mind. Okay, still snowing a bit. We're gonna do this. We actually ate all of our hot dogs, so we really don't have anything for dinner or breakfast. Uh, so we really hope to catch uh, a decent fish or two so we can make some dinner and some breakfast. But we only got about two hours of daylight, so, and it's very cold, so I don't know how long we're going to last. But we're going to give it a shot because we are all the, we made it all the way out here, we might as well. Do you mind if I just uh, get going? I'll, I'll stay close though. So Ra informed me that he did know that it was going to snow. And when he told me that, he said that gonna get down to 27 come morning so uh, I barely have the kind of uh, clothing to uh, endure that but I think I'll make it work it's a deer carcass well fur all right Let's see if they bite in the snow One thing I can see already is that the uh, water is way calmer. So guys, I'm going right back to where I got two hits earlier. It's on. 
Okay, well guys, we got a little brook trout. I'm trying to unhook him now with my wet hand because he's too small to keep. Would be nice though. Uh, ah! I was gonna bring him closer. Oh, you dropped him? Huh? Is he in the boat? No. Oh. <laughs> Beats the day at the office. It's not big enough. Yeah, I'll bring it closer though. You better hurry up, I got one one percent. Lost it. You said you got one percent? Yeah. Okay, emergency tea time. Guys, it's like 27 degrees. Not even 5 a.m. Was not expecting this for an April camp out. But uh, I've been freezing all night and uh, I really need some tea. So today, tonight, this morning, we have Bohe Colonial Tea. The majority of the tea thrown out at the Boston Tea Party was this same kind of tea. I'm excited to try it, but I'm more excited for the heat. I got my camp stove right outside the door. We got a full moon or Almost the full moon. And, uh, yeah. I smell smoke, so I hope my tent isn't burning. Okay. Obviously, terrible lighting, but this is your Bohe tea. Um, it is a black tea with a lightly smoky flavor. And, uh, we'll taste it soon. We're probably not going to get the pour shot or the strainer. Or any of that because I just need some tea okay it's uh, probably still too hot but let's try it anyway still too hot yeah so it's like a uh, it's a smoky black tea but not as smoky as like your Lapsang Suchong or even your uh, Russian Caravan tea. So it's a milder smokiness, but uh, a welcome smokiness, a rustic, rugged smokiness. Kind of like camping in 27 degree weather. I know my beard hair is in my mouth. So, Bohe, look it up, colonial tea, much of it thrown overboard at the Boston Tea Party, and keeping me alive. The sun should be up in about an hour, and we're going to try to fish. Well, survived the night. Like 6 a.m. I'm sure the camera does not do this moon justice, but uh, the moon looks pretty awesome right now. I'm going to get one of my rods. I'm going to fish from the shore for a little bit while it warms up. It's so cool. You can see, again, you probably can't see it in the distance, but you can see where the snow is all over the trees in the uh, higher elevations. Some of it's stuck. There, maybe you can see it up there. Pretty cool. Dang, it's cold. The only good thing is that it's only gonna get warmer. Yeah, 
That's a nice moon, eh? Now, I bet my reel is all frozen up. Yep. So it's the first thing we gotta take care of. The EPF swim, which caught me my three fish yesterday. Tape measure so that maybe we can have breakfast because now I'm officially out of food, even snack food, and some pliers. Gotta get my waders on though. Well guys, I wasn't recording, but I think we may have landed our 12-incher. It's a beautiful fish. I'm sure he'll get off now. Yeah, of course I wasn't recording for that, but it's a nice one. Again, the EPF swim. I had just stopped recording. It's just like a, a, a fish, right? All right, this guy's not getting off, but now I gotta go bring him all the way over my measuring stick. All right, guys, so he just barely passes the test, so I'll make a little breakfast. But uh, he's browner, huh? This one's prettier, right? Yeah. With the speckles. Yeah. So we can each have a half of a trout for Brilliant. breakfast. Good thing I put the fire down. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> butter blew up. It's way too hot. Take a bite of this still sizzling, freshly caught brook trout breakfast. Got one? You didn't get one, did you? Well, I thought maybe I, it's not out of the realm of possibility that you caught something. All right, false alarm. Here we go, let's give it a shot. I think it's cooked. Look at that, look at that flesh, look at that skin. Beautiful fish, here we go. Let's get some better lighting. All right, fresh caught brook trout, here we go. So good, juicy, reminiscent of salmon or trout, obviously. Might not, <laughs> might not be cooked all the way, but I kind of like it. It's like a seared tuna or something, anyway. That was great, that was fantastic. Guys, I'm gonna sign off here. Maybe I can try to get a catch on, actually on film for you on our way back to our cars. But um, other than that, uh, it's been a good, cold, short little adventure here to the Catskills in mid-April, catching some brook trout. Hope you like what you're seeing. Please like and subscribe. And as always, fish like no one's watching. Peace.